Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I've put together seven art seven wearable trends for 2023. These are the pieces that are going to be super on style, make your look up to date. But if you know my style, you know that I love a classic timeless neutral wardrobe and I'm not willing to give up on that. So the trends that I've filtered out are these that slightly have more that classic elegant approach and that are probably already existing in your wardrobe because they are very timeless. They are more like staple pieces that do have a certain moment right now that just deserve a spotlight and that are just worth incorporating more into our wardrobes and helping us to pull together outfits. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel today then I am Anna and I post fashion and styling videos every single week on my channel. So if you do not want to miss any of my upcoming uploads then make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and if you generally enjoy outfit and fashion inspiration then make sure you also follow me on Instagram because that is where I post every single day. Alright so let's head in. As I said before, I don't want to overwhelm you with loads of like trendy high street high fashion pieces or fast fashion pieces. What I want to do is really look at those pieces that are timeless, that are worth investing our money in and that we will wear again and again year after year and that we won't throw away in a couple of years time. Um, I do want to build this wardrobe and also a trend led wardrobe. Um, more in a sustainable way, so I don't want to just clog you with loads of things that you don't actually need So instead we're gonna look at the things that we're actually going to enjoy and that will actually also be very trendy this year So the first trend that I want to talk about is pretty obvious and it's the colorless Jackets and like Chanel style tweed jackets. They have such a moment right now And I did an entire video about how to style these last week So if you haven't checked that out definitely make sure to do so. I'm going to leave that link somewhere in the little eye icon um, But until then this is what I'm talking about. These are like this very classic tweed jackets that don't really have this color um, Also these like cardigans that you can wear open or closed as a shirt um, Both of these are from Urban Revival. I'm going to leave them linked down below and For me personally, it really deserves having these in my wardrobe I just love the style. I have always loved it and I'm very happy They're now getting a spotlight into the trend wardrobe So I'm going to insert some Instagram on Pinterest pictures that are on my feed right now because we're just seeing them so much And yes, the high street is very tempting H&M brought out something that looks almost identical to this one Whereas I do have to say this is 90% wool. So this is a very like premium um, quality and for me personally it's worth investing in that but you can also get great deals at H&M they have brought out something that is almost identical Zara has super pretty like little um, cardigans with these like contrasting uh, pipings going on so they're really lovely options that I'm going to leave linked up on the screen and blend in little pictures of the things that I've found so far because I know it can be quite overwhelming also Mango has got a really strong game right now when it comes to tweed and jackets and these like cat and a cardigan styles I just think they are pretty much flattering on anyone I feel they elevate every single style and yet they are so easy to pair because you can pair them with literally your most basic classic styles um, like I mentioned I've done an entire video on it but if you really don't know where to start then I would highly suggest to um, watch that one but in general I feel like everyone will look good with a jacket like this and if that still isn't your thing then I will leave my favorites from Zara linked because they currently have a collection where they have like very basic knits that have this kind of style but not the texture so if you're really bothered by the texture um, you could try that but I'm seeing these three jackets everywhere and I couldn't be happier Looking at H&M, I found a lot of boucle jackets. So we've got this one, which so we've got this one, which is very similar to the one that I already have. They also have a black version, which I think looks just sublime. Um, they also have this like contrasting thing going on with like the white and this like kind of checked style, which looks a bit more cool. Um, I do like this one as well. And then I also found this one, which has a very slight like herringbone touch to it but it's like in a white white monochrome effect so it looks really cool and I do personally really enjoy it 
And then and Zara, I found this set, which I'm very tempted to get because it's a pair of shorts and a matching blazer. And I love this kind of look. It's a tweed and it's like this check with a beige and white. And I just love this look. Um, I personally have a lot of these things. So I'm trying to temper myself and not impulse buy this, but this would be the set that I would get this season. The next trend that we are seeing everywhere are the midi skirts. Um, and I'm specifically talking about these kind of silky, satiny midi skirts. Um, not necessarily pleated. Mine is super old from Zara. Like I said, they're classic, timeless wardrobe staples, but they're just really having a moment right now. And if you pair them right, they look very trendy. And what I see a lot is pairing these types of like midi skirts with trainers. It doesn't necessarily have to be one like this. I also see a lot of those that are a lot slimmer fitted. I'm going to insert some pictures of what I've seen so far, but I've seen lovely options at Naked. I feel like they do these very well. You can also get these at Zara um, and I think in other stories has some very cool options as well. You can pretty much get them anywhere amongst the high street and I personally think get them in like a classic color, like a champagne color like this or white and then in this like satin finish and pair them with trainers. If you pair these with trainers, it instantly elevates the look because it looks more trendy, it looks more up to date, it looks a bit more casual and not as trying so hard. So if you want your midi skirt to look more up to date, what I would avoid is pairing it with high heels, stilettos, um, even slingbacks, ballet flats, I will get to them in a minute, but I would avoid pairing them with midi skirts. So especially the combination of a midi skirt and trainers is something I see a lot right now and I really love this trend because I feel like a midi skirt always makes me feel quite dressed up. So when I can style it in a more casual way, I actually find them a lot more wearable and it just makes me happy that this is a trend right now. Now as for the trainers themselves, I personally am a big fan of pairing it with white trainers. I have the ones from Ted Baker, but I feel like every sleek white leather trainer is going to do a great job. Even if they're from Adidas, I've seen beautiful ones from Ralph Lauren. Just make sure they're like a decent quality. You don't get the really cheap ones from H&M because white trainers are just something that are always going to be in your wardrobe. They will stay there forever. And I feel like this is something really worthy investing in. Whereas I really would avoid like the chunky trainer trend. I know it's on trend and if that's really your thing, you can do it. But for me, that is definitely a trendy thing. And if I were to buy it, I would purely do it out of the trend and not because I truly love it. That is personally not something I want to do. I want to build my wardrobe with things that I love and if I can then match and pair them in a way that they may look more up to date and trendy, then for me that's a way of sustainably building up and following trends. So the next trend that we are seeing in 2023, and I could not be happier that this is a trend now, are ballet flats. I am seeing them everywhere. They're on every Pinterest page I open. They're on every storefront. You can see them pretty much in every app that sells fashion. Whether you go on Asos, on H&M, Zara, it doesn't matter. Everywhere are ballet flats. And I'm truly, truly happy about it because I've been in the hunt for a good pair of ballet flats for such a long time. Um, and I found some that I really love and I feel like now I just get even more inspiration on how to pair them. And starting off with these, these are the ones that I'm very excited to pair this season. Obviously they have the Chanel style about them. So what I see a lot are these like quilted ballet flats that have a contrasting cap at the front. Mine are from French Soul. I bought them on the outnet. I think they still are on there. So I'm going to leave them linked, but I also have some different options in case you don't want to splurge as much. The doorman literally just rang with a package and I thought these wouldn't arrive and I just wanted to pop them on the screen but here they are. So these are a pair of ballet flats that I ordered from H&M and as you can see they're definitely ticking all the boxes. So they have this like tweed Chanel aesthetic about them which again matches the first trend of the tweed jackets and they have the contrasting cap. Um, this one's like white and black and I really love this. I think it's going to look amazing with these like tweed jackets. Anything black and white, any monochrome looks. I think they're definitely a timeless classic piece that just has a spotlight moment right now and makes looks more up to 
to date and trendy. For example, how I wear to style these is with a pair of straight leg jeans. I've recently just gotten into them and I think there's something very timeless and classic about styling them together. Whereas when I was a girl, like a teenage girl, I would pair them with like short skirts and I would pair them with my skinny jeans and that is not really the look I would want to go for right now. I would pair this with like looser, more masculine looking silhouettes such as straight leg jeans, um, cigarette trousers for work um, and those kind of things. Something else that I'm seeing everywhere are the classic Chanel Valley flats and believe me they are on my wish list um, but until I will ever make that purchase here are some of my favorite um, alternatives from the high street so first of all I found this pair I'm going to leave this um, linked on the screen because it hasn't arrived yet but basically it's a French company that has these like leather um, ballet flats and there it is very classic like beige and black um, soft leather ballet flats and I am obsessed with them I hope they look as they do on the pit picture and I am obsessed with them and this is 100% the style that I want so I know I'm going to love it However, if you do want to spend a little less on this because you do want to try it out and flats usually maybe aren't your thing, again H&S has served as well. They have a very pretty alternative. Um, now these as you can see are like a patent leather. This is a very classic style. I love this little bow which just makes it a bit more girly and feminine and personally I'm just really obsessed with these ballet flats. I think they look very pretty and again I'm just happy that this is a trend because honestly I know these pieces are going to be so timeless and they are worth investing a bit more however you can still get a very decent look for less. So another shoe that we're seeing a lot right now is the sling bag and I personally have this pair of sling bags, let me get it out, which is from a brand called Bianca D and as you can see again we have the contrasting cap, this one's white and nude and I love these so much. I got them last year, I already got so much wear out of them, let me tell you they're one of the most versatile shoes ever. They look great styled with jeans, you can dress them up with like dresses, you can also wear them to work with like cigarette trousers. Um, and they just pretty much always look good. They always elevate an outfit and especially as we're moving into spring I think these are just such a staple and you do need a pair of these so either these or the ballet flats But you will be so happy if you get a pair like this. I've got a couple more suggestions for ballet flats So first of all, I've got this pair of like nude sling bags, which is from H&M I really like this one. It's so classic timeless and it looks very decent. Another option I have is a pair of black ballet flats. Now these are from a brand called Arquette and they are real leather so they are not crazy in price but they still are very decent quality that will last you forever. I do think that ballet flats are worth investing a bit more in. Um, another thing that we're seeing if ballet flats are not so much a thing, I still wanted to include them, are loafers. I found this pair at Mango which is very similar to the ones that I have from Zara um, and they again are such a nice quality. I love the color, I love the buckle, I love everything about them. I also found the pair from H&M that has a bit more of this like chunky trend to it which I personally really like um, as long as it's not overdone I feel like that's a fine line but I could highly recommend this pair if you don't like this like contrasting cap kind of thing um, I've got this pair of patent leather nude ballet flats from H&M I bought them quite a while ago so mine look pretty rocked right now which is why I choose to include this pic. But again you can try the style for an inexpensive price point, see if you love it and then invest in it if you do see that you like it. Um, and this is just a very easy way of trying out this trend. Another brand I cannot miss in this category is the brand Pretty Ballerinas. They are one of my favorite brands when it comes to ballet flats. I'm going to insert some of my favorite um, choices on the screen and also leave them linked down below. They just have the best selection when it comes to ballet flats and also they just look so timeless and elegant and they are at that price point where you get a really decent quality for your shoe. Some of my favorite shoes are from this brand um, and they just are top notch without having a ridiculous price point so I can highly recommend them I'm going to leave them they just have the prettiest designs going everywhere with quilting with flowers with rhinestones they've got everything also the classics so I can highly recommend them if you're looking for a pair of belly flats um, look there now the next trend that we're going to see in 2023 is bomber jackets um, again this is a trend that we've seen before and it's not something 
that is just coming out of nowhere so chances are we probably already have that in our wardrobe and by adding this on top of any of the pieces for example the midi skirt and the trainers um, cigarette trousers and sling bags adding a bomber jacket on tops just make that look more up to date more trendy more casual which is more the vibe that we're getting in 2023 i haven't found the perfect bomber jacket yet but i would look out for something that is in a neutral color a good quality of course has a nice fit um has a proper zipper and everything to it um maybe in a like a white or cream color I feel like this would be very appropriate for spring as well. Now, I personally have this like white and blue tweed jacket, which is from another stories. And for me, this kind of ticks both boxes because I get the colorless design. I get the tweed that I love um, from the first trend. But then I also have the zipper, which kind of not really makes it a bomber jacket, but it gives up the similar vibe. Um, so this is probably how I would style up this jacket. I'm um, styling this with like more of the pieces that I've shown today and kind of make a very up-to-date trendy look with this one. Another trend we are seeing right now is the gold statement jewelry. And for me personally, I love this trend, but I'm not huge on investing a lot in this kind of thing because I haven't just found the perfect thing for me yet. So how I incorporate this trend is I layer my more dainty jewelry pieces like I've done here with the necklaces. I feel like this gives it a more up-to-date and trendy look and it still looks very nice and put together but I don't have to go to H&M and buy one of these chunky um, statement necklaces. However, if you do want to do that, I did find some really good pieces. So I'm going to start off with these earrings, which are from either and the Stories or H&M. I'm not really sure, but they're premium quality. So it's not something that's going to faint in color. Um, but there are these really nice gold hoops with the pearl. So they're the perfect statement earring for me. Also, if you want to go for a more chunky gold um, element in your outfits, I would recommend these. They are from, I think, think it's Monica Veneta. Um, I really have my eye on these. I feel like they look so chic, polished, yet they are very trendy because of their like weight and the, the material they bring with them. Also, I found this pair, which I think is from Missouri or Missima it was. I'm going to leave it linked, but this pair for me just screams on trend 2023 jewelry while still being classic and timeless and still being a piece that I know I'll wear when I'm 20 years older than I am right now. So this is uh, these are some of the pieces that I would look out for when it comes to jewelry this season. Now, one last trend I have not touched so far is metallics. And for me, metallics are kind of a tricky part, um, but they are very much on trend this season and we will see a lot more during spring and summer. But as long as I am not willing to go out full with like silver pants or silver skirts or silver jackets, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate it in a way that I already love it. So for example, I've got this little like tweed cardigan, which is, it's not really tweed, it's more of like, like this fuzzy material, um, but it really gives off this like old money aesthetic um, vibe and it has these like silver threads running through it. I hope that you can see it. For me, this is the way that I would personally incorporate the silver and metallic trend into my wardrobe with something that I already love. Um, not going full out with it, but rather having these like little details and pieces that I'll know I'll just get loads of wear out of. Um, if silver is not your thing, then I also can highly recommend this one, which is like similar. It ticks all the boxes. So it has this like, um, style that I've talked about in the beginning of the video but this one has more of like gold detailings to it so for me it also kind of ticks the metallic trend I'm just trying to take more trends with one piece um, rather than just going out and buying into all of the trends. So this was my overview of the trends that I will personally be participating in this season. I hope that you enjoyed this video so far. Let me know if there were any trends that you can't wait to style up and that you're as happy to see as I am. And then I'll say thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.